सेल ऑर्गेनल दैट इज गॉल्वी कॉम्प्लेक्स ओके राइट सो गॉल्वी कॉम्प्लेक्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज गॉल्वी बॉडीज और गॉल्वी एपरेटस सो गॉल्वी कॉम्प्लेक्स इज फर्स्ट डिस्कवर्ड बाय ए साइंटिस्ट कॉल्ड केमिलो केमिलो गॉल्जी ओके सो ई ऑब्जर्वड इन ई डिस्कवर्ड इन द कुर्किनजी सेल्स सो कुर्किनजी ओके सो कुर्किनजी सेल्स ऑफ द ब्रेन कुर्किनजी सेल्स ऑफ द ब्रेन ऑफ एन आउल ओके राइट सो केमिलो गॉल्गी ऑब्जर्वड इन द कुर्किनजी सेल्स ऑफ द ब्रेन ऑफ एन आउल ओके राइट सो हियर the golgi complex uh, there is another name that is called as dictyosomes so dictyosomes so in plant cell and in lower vertebrates so lower invertebrates so generally the golgi complex are also called as dictyosomes okay in plant cells and in lower invertebrates okay that they are the called as another name that is dictyosomes okay now uh, we know the presence of the golgi complex okay right so presence of the golgi complex so where it is present so occurrence so occurrence or our presence so generally golgi uh, bodies uh, generally present in all eukaryotic cells except in uh, mature mammalian rts okay and it will be and the golgi will be absent in prokaryotic cells okay right so um, now we in which in which cells generally the golgi complex are present in more in number so generally the cells which are involved in the secretion and storage functions in that cells generally the golgi complex is more in number okay right so this is the occurrence of the presence of the golgi complex now we know the structure of the golgi complex so generally the golgi complex uh, was uh, The ultra the ultra structure of the Golgi complex was discovered or uh, explained by the Dalton. Dalton. So Dalton is another scientist who explained the ultra structure of ultra structure of so ultra structure of Golgi complex. Okay, right. So uh, he observed in he explained the ultra structure in the epididymis cells. So epi epididymis so epididymis cells in rat epididymis cells in rat okay right he expressed that uh, the golgi complex or golgi apparatus uh, looks in three different shapes looks in three different shapes okay that is three different shapes three uh, different uh, shapes okay uh, that is uh, one is cisterne cisterne okay and second one is vesicles vesicles and third one is tubules okay right tubules okay right first we know about the cisterne okay right so here we see uh, these are the cisternes so these are this is the diagram of golgi complex okay right so these are the cisternes so cisternes are the parallel sac like structures so parallel okay sac like structures arranged one above the other arranged one above the other okay so these are the cisternes the number of the cisternes are the uh, present the source varies in different groups okay so if we see in animal cells the cisternes are in 10 to 12 in number or in plant cells 20 in number but in fungi only single cisterne only present okay so like that the number of the cisternes are different or varies in different group of organisms okay right here we see a cisterne each cisterne has a polarity shows a polarity okay each cisterne shows polarity so that means it shows two different surfaces it contains two different surfaces okay so cisterne contains so cisterne shows is generally polarity polarity okay yeah polarity that means it shows two different uh, surfaces so one is convex surface 
so this one is the uh, convex so convex surface convex surface and uh, uh, and this one is the uh, concave surface okay and this one is the concave surface so they has two surfaces two surfaces one is convex and one is surface so this one is the convex and this is the concave here we see this one is the convex and this is the concave surface okay right so a convex surface generally uh, towards or present near the nucleus and endoplasmic reticulum okay so endoplasmic reticulum and nucleus it, it was the uh, convex surface is towards or present near the towards the uh, endoplasmic reticulum and nucleus but concave uh, away from them okay away from them okay away from them okay right so this convex surface generally called as the forming surface called as the forming so forming phase forming phase okay at the concave surface called as uh, maturing phase okay so maturing maturing phase so maturing phase okay maturing phase so uh, why uh, we are calling like that okay now i explain uh, about that okay right we are see so this is the nucleus and this is the endoplasmic reticulum so generally the endoplasmic reticulum generally uh, forms or produce or synthesis of proteins or lipids okay so if the rough endoplasmic reticulum uh, it senses the proteins so the proteins will be uh, will be transported to golgi okay through the vesicles so this this is the proteins or any substance or any substance so proteins okay so protein uh, with vesicle protein with yeah protein with vesicle so the proteins are transported to golgi through the vesicles okay right so when it comes in contact with the golgi golgi apparatus then yet the uh, yet the uh, uh, modifying of the substance will be stopped okay in this in this in this region the modifying uh, the substance uh, modifying will be stopped and uh, the new cisternes are formed in this surface in this site in this region okay so new new cisternes are formed in this uh, region and the modifying substance uh, the uh, substance modifying will be start in this region that's why in this region is called as convex surface is also called as forming phase okay so we were calling the forming phase because of it produces its uh, new cisternes the general new systems and this new cisternes are forms in this region and the substance modifying will be starting in this region so that's why the convex surface is called as forming surface okay when the uh, uh, substance will be enter into the cisternes okay then the modifying will be continuing okay then the modifying will be continue so the during the modification of the substance the substance will be move like this like this one system and to another system name like this and finally it will be reached into the swollen part of the system name okay now the at the time at the during the time of modification of uh, substance the substance will be finally it will be reached into the swollen part of the system name okay so generally this valent part is called as golgian is called as golgian vesicles golgian vesicles okay golgian vesicles now the substance will be uh, and uh, reached into the uh, reached in the uh, golgian uh, vesicles okay here now the golgian vesicle become large okay become large and then it will be finished off from the system name it will be pinched off from this system name okay right so pinched off from this uh, from the system name now these vesicles are also these golgian vesicles are also called as the also called as the uh, primary lysosome primary uh, lysosome okay so golgian vesicles are also called as primary lysosome so the golgian vesicles Uh, containing a inactivated lytic enzymes inactivated lytic enzymes so this is called as primary lysosome 
okay the collagen vesicle containing inactivated lysosome so that structure is also called as also known as primary lysosome okay like the like like this the new vesicles will be formed through this uh, concave surface through this concave surface that's why the concave surface is called as maturing phase okay maturing phase okay why we are calling maturing phase new vesicles are produced vesicles are produced arise from the concave surface that's why they are called as maturing phase okay and the cisterns of the mature older cisterns are present in this region new cisterns are formed in this region convex region here the old old cisterns are present here and the vesicles are also formed formed by this region that's why on concave region also called as maturing phase okay right so these vesicles generally so these uh, golgian vesicles so generally has uh, 400 to 800 okay uh, angstroms in length okay so 400 to 800 angstroms okay in diameter okay right so this is about the vesicle and here we see the these are the tubules so these are the tubules of the uh, golgi so these tubules uh, generally they form a network they are present at the peripheral side of the cisternes so and these they has uh, generally uh, here uh, 300 to 350 angstroms okay right so like this so there is a space between two cisternes there is a space between there is a space between two cisternes is called as inter uh, cisternal space okay there is there that is called as inter cisternal inter cisternal space okay yes which contain 150 angstroms okay which has 150 angstroms okay right so this is about the uh, structure of the golgi apparatus so because of these three structures cisterne uh, tubules and uh, vesicles so this uh, golgi apparatus golgi body is called as golgi complex okay right so this is about the golgi complex